I just got out of work, dropped my coworker off at the airport, and you know what that means. Work time is over, fish time has begun. Do you feel like you're always working and never fishing? I'm here to show you that even on a tight schedule, you can still catch fish. Welcome to Work Hard, Fish Hard. Season one, ultralight bass fishing. So today we're actually at another brand new lake and so really the main goal is to go out there and scout. But obviously I've got my ultralight fishing rods and we're gonna go out there and try to catch a few fish along the way. I don't know what to expect from this lake. It's really dingy water actually. So ultralight's probably about the worst thing I could possibly be throwing. But enough yipping and yapping, let's start cast blessing. Let's go. In the last episode of Work Hard Fish Hard, you saw that I threw around a little micro Nico rig a little bit. And so in today's episode, I'm gonna actually go ahead and try that again. You know, as I'm scouting this out, I can already tell that a black and blue jig and a chatterbait are gonna be my best friend here. And I love that. So I'm definitely gonna be coming back here soon and throwing exactly that. What it comes down to though, is I am ultralight bass fishing today. So I really need to make sure that I can find a presentation that's gonna work in this dirty water with ultralight gear. I don't know if you guys remember this, but in one episode, I planted this in the back of my skull. This popper happens to be flavored with Ethan's skull, so hopefully bass like that. Oh, come on. That was a great cast. Just splashed myself very effectively. Even though I want to keep throwing this top water, I'm going to take it off and I'm going to put on a little jig. All right. Well, I figured out what was down there and it is not crappie. I was thinking it'd be crappie. It's actually some nice little bluegill right there. So now we know. It's so hard for me not to get distracted by bluegill. I just love bluegill. We're gonna go try to fish some docks. That way we can at least try to put a couple fish in the boat because I think the reality is that's probably my best bet. Well, we are struggling. That's what's happening right now. We're struggling. I've got really low energy. I'm so tired right now. It's been a long day. It's been a long week. Today's Friday, and I kind of didn't realize how exhausted I would be when I got out here, and it hit me like a freaking brick wall. But you gotta power through those times, my friends. Oh shoot. Something just surfaced right there. That looked like a bass. Right in a little weed bed. Maybe I should tie that top water back on cast this directly in the middle of a weed bed. Don't know if that's a good or a bad idea. There he is. Oh, he bit it. He bit it. He's there still. He didn't get a hook. Come on. He just kind of nipped it. 100% a bass. I got to put that popper back on. I think I'm going to live and die by the popper. Oh, wait. Never mind. The Nico pays off. Ooh. I don't know if it's just because I'm wearing, I'm using an ultralight. Oh, actually, it's pretty good. Especially for, a, for an ultralight. Oh yeah. Boom. Pardon the fact that I have zero energy right now. It's been a long week at work. But this little guy, I tell you what, is bringing my energy level up. Hey, look at there. He unhooked himself. I'm just glad I got him in the boat. I tell you what. Buddy, thank you so much. I needed that. I really needed that. I've only got so much more time. And uh, the fact that I just caught that fish just pumps me up. You know what's funny too? I was kind of thinking this is going to be the, the very last episode of this season of Work Hard Fish Hard. I think we're going to go ahead and switch to a new topic for the next season. And so I guess you'll just have to wait until next week where you're going to see where the next topic is unleashed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cast this out here in front of this dock. I'm going to dead stick it. While that's dead sticking, I'm going to go ahead and put this little popper back on and take off this little jig. Oh, there's one. <laughs> The dead stick pays off. I saw my line start swimming, and my friends, the dead stick pays off. Is it a little fish, or is he just pulling it towards me? Oh my goodness, I cannot. Okay, okay. Well, he's gonna fight. Okay, all right. Not a bad one, not a bad one. He's pretty long. Look how long that fish is. For his, for his size, he's a really long fish. Nice, perfect little hook set there too. Right in the roof of the mouth. Well, just like that, you know what? We've been fishing here for about an hour and I tell you what, I make a couple casts and I catch a couple bass. You cannot complain about that. Let's release this guy. See ya. Man, I tell you what, I am super tired right now. I gotta go home and eat some dinner, but I guess I better make a couple more casts because shoot, 
they're starting to bite. I'm definitely excited to return here with a chatterbait in my hand and really just move water. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, shoot. Why did he break off? I wonder if I had a kink in my line. I almost feel like I had a kink in my line. It's either that or it was a pike or something, but dang it. Okay, well, maybe I will just because the topwater's sitting here. Maybe I'll just tie the topwater on just real quick. The one thing I definitely haven't been super proud of myself with on this whole work hard, fish hard thing is I say I'm gonna be here for like two hours and then I end up fishing for like three and a half and it's a real problem. But uh, that's what I do with every single fishing trip I ever take. So I guess it is what it is. I don't know if you guys can relate to that problem or not, but uh, it's definitely a problem for me. So I think that, oh, oh, he hit it right when it hit the water. Come back for it. Oh, got him. Yes, topwater baby. Yes, ultralight topwater. Can it get any better than that? I'm not sure. I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> oh, I love it. With that treble hook, I'm gonna go ahead and get him in the net despite the fact that he's a small fish. Hey, I tell you what, hey cool, he unhooked himself. That's two out of three fish that unhooked himself for me. I tell you what, might not be anything big, but on four pound tests, ultralight top water, that's pretty awesome. See you later, buddy. Whew. As you can see, the kayak is loaded on top of the car, and you know what? That marks the finale of season one. Next week, season two of Work Hard, Fish Hard starts. Let's go. But as for today, I would say we got everything accomplished we wanted to. No, we didn't get any size or anything, but we caught a couple fish, and more importantly, we learned about this lake, and next time I come here, I'm gonna seriously bass fish, and I'm gonna get on them. I already know that. Anyways, enough yipping and yapping. You know what I'm gonna say next. Work Hard, Fish Hard, let's go.